Hi friends, in this tutorial we will see how we will move this uh, square on a canvas on the green color by using these four buttons. This four button gives the four directions, up, down direction we can move, then we can move in the left also and after this we will add uh, our use our arrow keys in the keyboard to move it also. Now previously in our tutorial we have seen how we have uh, by using a single button in one direction we could move it or in combining two directions we have moved it and in this is this we have discussed in the previous tutorial now we'll learn how we'll use four buttons we'll start from here we'll start from here this is our uh, template and with the button canvas and one rectangle this is where we left in our previous tutorial you can see here we have created the canvas here by taking the height and width of the window reduced by 10 and 45 here so then we have a step and one rectangle we have created here. This rectangle is uh, placed on the canvas. So at the coordinate x1, y1, whatever we have decided here, x1 is the from the left edge and y position from the top half of the means that it will be at the vertically at the center position. So this is what we have used to place it. So height by 2 and integer because the fractions will come for that we have converted into integer. And the rectangle we have drawn using this two x, x1, y1 and x2 y2 then the button we have placed and in the button by we pass to this function when the button is clicked we passed it here this function is uh, uh, triggered and here is what the movement creates the movement is r1 is our rectangle and minus step step value we have taken kept here as 5 we can keep it as 15 also so this 5 we are moving negative side means towards left side and vertically uh, vertically means minus means up direction if it is positive then it will move downward and if this step is positive then it will move right direction the step is the jump it is not the absolute value this is the jump which the rectangle will each call to this function the rectangle will move now to this we will add it this you can just watch the previous video to understand all the layout everything we are discussed in that so this here some changes we will do this function first will let's give it a left name it will change the name because here we are uh, we, we want four functions one is in the, in the four direction so we are giving it as left the name is left now we'll say move r1 left movement means yes the first one or the horizontal coordinates will be in the negative direction and the vertical coordinates should not move so we'll keep it zero that means that will give me a left only movement not uh, horizontally no movement in the vertical direction so i am writing it here move left so without uh, vertical movement so that's that's this is the function what we will be calling each time we want it, our function to move in left direction now i'll just copy this one so i'll place it here one more function i want so that should be my right direction so for that i will just call this function as my right so same thing and move i'll comment part also rest of the things it is understood so here what when i am moving right then this one will be positive only and vertically so horizontally this step value will be positive and zero movement vertically so it will move only in the right direction so let me just copy this much and place it, it here so here it is now what has happened is now i will change this to let's make it up so up means here uh, we can say that there will not be any movement in the horizontal direction so i will keep this as a zero and here up direction means it step will be minus because sorry this will go will remove this now one more we have to go so we'll paste once again and create a down function so this in this when this function is called the rectangle will move in the down down direction means this should be only be this should not be there step should be our in the positive direction so it starts from the top move towards down so horizontally there is no movement so we have kept it here so now let's add a button we'll add four buttons so b1 equal to tk dot button now my parent window is my underscore w now 
then text equal to up. Now, this is the text I am writing. Sorry, rather I instead of that I will change this one because this already this button is there. So, this uh, B1 TK button move this I will change it to up because four directions I will be using background is yellow font. Let me just slightly make it 18. So, and the command is lambda my this is will move it in the up direction. So, here I am saying up and this I am deleting fine placing it in a slightly change in the layout is required here. So, I will come back here again B1 grid row equal to I will say this is if at the top the canvas I am placing it at let me just see row equal to 1. So, let me make it row equal to 0 here. So, I can continue with 0 and column is 0 and here one more thing is I have to add a column span. So, I am giving because bottom 3 in a one row 3 buttons will come. So, for that alignment I am giving column span equal to 3. So, that I am adding here. So, row is 0. Now, I am come back to B1. I will keep this as up direction no 1. So, I will keep it 1. So, column is uh, and this will be at the center. What the idea is up direction 1 button below that left down and right like our keyboard layout will keep it. So, for that let me column 1 and pad x slightly I will give the pad x equal to 2 pad y equal to 2. Now, stick which side it will uh, take the space let it take full uh, whatever the column east and west. So, it will horizontally expand it and take the entire space that is the idea. So, I am giving sorry uh, it's k I think one y is there ok. So, this is I will do one button now let me only up to this point let me copy this paste it here this is my second button D2 I am coming to the below row this is the layout part of it. So, next row I am going button. Now, the left side first will I will put a left button. So, I am starting with my left. So, once this button is clicked, then I will be calling my left. My left is the button I will calling when I this button. Now, the layout grid will be the next row it is going and the column should be 0 because this is the first one. Right of it will be for our uh, down movement and then will be the right. So, B sorry here I have to give it B2. Okay, B2 is over now it is moves me my uh, B2 will move in the direction of my left. Okay, so the now two more buttons I had to press. So, let me move up a bit fine. So, this is my B3 this will be at the uh, right of the left button and at the center position. So, let me change it to B3. Now, this will give it me it give it down. So, down background is yellow font command here I will say my down. This function I am calling. Now, this row will be 2, second row column should be next of it. So, 1 let it be 1 rest of the things remain same. Now, one more the right side. So, I will say here B4, B4 then again B4 fine. So, this is the fourth button now the here I will say the right. So, text I am giving it as right background yellow font 18 command my my this is right. So, right is a function it will call once the button is clicked. Now, this will be at the right of my down button. So, it will again I will say column top column 1. So, I will give column as 2. Now, rest of the things remain same. Let us just see this how will this one works. Uh, yeah, here it is, but I did something wrong here row up is there right is coming up. Okay, now I think row I messed up. Yeah, here here it is the row. So, the row should be I will give it is at the 2 uh, row 1 2 fine, but I think I have to increase the gap. I have to give little more space here. So, what I will do let me come to the top here I will give let me give around 70 70. So, the canvas I am reducing the height of the canvas and pad y y 5 uh, let me give 1. So, 
gap between the first button and that I am reducing. Yeah, you can see now my buttons have come up. This I am giving pad Y A X here, so the gap is little is coming, and the from the top also. Now let's see the functionality. You can see it is moving in up direction. Let's move it in the right direction. Let's move it down direction. Let's move in the left direction because respective button is calling the respective function here. Whatever the functions we have written, this thing, and based on the step directions whatever we have given this moves now let's just add quickly the four keyboard arrows so the same movement we can achieve to this we'll add our directional arrows so for the, all the four directions the direction arrows should uh, trigger the same function so my underscore w is my parent window i have declared we have used it so let just so you underline number two you can see my underscore w now i am binding the event so what which event now i am saying right so right means this event means this will bind the right arrow key. So right here, okay, I have to give a quote here, wait, so right, now delete, okay. Now which function it will trigger? So my right, that's all, now my this function it will pass, already the event will pass as parameter so that uh, right arrow key is over. Now my underscore w dot bind now let me just put the left sorry left arrow key now once the left arrow then my left should be triggered fine that's over now my left arrow is over now i am putting another my underscore w dot bind now which arrow key i am want i want let's say up p up let me see okay i have to put it event no so like this so now which function i will trigger once this up arrow is clicked so my up this all same functions whatever the button is uh, on click of the button whatever is happening the same uh, sorry which function is triggered same function my underscore w dot bind now one more actually we have a series of uh, tutorials on how the events are tracked and uh, how the functions are triggered you can watch that also i will leave the link below so down now fine so this is uh, down function and which uh, sorry function is my down so now that's all now i think i did something okay this should code should go outside okay now all the four arrow keys are uh, given now this is i will all the respective arrow key will trigger it so trigger the respective function so now let's see okay let's first start with little buttons our buttons are also working we have seen that now i am pressing the arrow keys i am pressing right arrow now i am pressing up arrow now i am pressing my down arrow now i am pressing my left arrow you just see because we have given that event so it is exactly triggering the, that particular function i can you still use my buttons also if i am clicking the buttons now so it is accordingly that particular respective function is triggered and that rectangle moves based on the step directions whatever we have given that's all friends now next we'll move how we'll move a image and using a mouse we'll move it so that's what the next will be and uh, we'll stop here practice this one and i will request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it share it with your friends and thank you for watching